There are many things in life that are very ordinary to us, but were way more interesting when we were children, especially airplanes. However, for Greg Spitzer, this fascination didn't really end. Greg Spitzer is one of the 609,000 certified pilots in the United States, according to the AOPA, and has been one for over a year now. So I came to the Schomburg Airport to catch a glimpse into the life of a pilot and to understand why he loves flying. When and why did you decide that you wanted to be a pilot? Uh, well, I probably wanted to fly all my life. My dad was a pilot, so I grew up around it, and he had me in the airplane ever since I can remember. I wanted to do it all my life, but I don't think there's ever been a time I haven't wanted to. Um, so, really, it's been a lifetime of wanting to fly. What do you think it takes to become a pilot? Well, just mainly the desire to want to do it. It takes like, a passion. You really got to have a lot of commitment. It's a lot of time. You spend a lot of time studying, flying. Um, so, there's the commitment and uh, some financial resources. You got to have some money to do it. And if you have the commitment and uh, the uh, ability to, to pay for your flying, it's really rewarding. After my sit down with Greg, he invited me to come check out his plane that he rents with his flight club. So, uh, like, what are some like responsibilities that you like you have to have while flying? Like, like are there like rules or something like that? Yeah. Uh, let me show you. Let me get my uh, bag. It has that kind of stuff in there. So, one of the rules is airspace requirements we got to follow. So this is the airport that we're at, Schaumburg, and you can see all these rings that go around O'Hare, there's some rings around Midway, there's a little ring around DuPage Airport. All of those are uh, controlled airspaces. So when you're asking for clearance, what exactly do you get with that? Do you get like just access to the airspace? Yeah, yeah, you get access to the airspace. Uh, generally, uh, we don't fly these kind of airplanes in the class Bravo airspace is too much just because mm -hmm. it's just way too much intensity of traffic. So for like two-way communication it's basically saying hey I'm going in the, the area? Yeah so you'll say for instance um, if you're flying into Midway you'll say uh, Midway approach this, you, then you say your name Skyhawk 3090 Papa say where you're at 20 miles west and then you say your intentions inbound uh, to land midway and you'll give your altitude also whatever your altitude is at. They'll acknowledge you and then give you instructions as to what how to proceed into the airspace. But then there's a lot of other FAA regulations called FARs, Federal Aviation Regulations, and it's a book like about that thick and you have to know all those rules. And the best part is that Greg even let me take part on one of his flights as his co-pilot. I got to fly over some very familiar places, like my school, Pheasant Run, and even my neighborhood. All with Greg by my side. Clearly, it takes a lot to become a pilot, but at least it's just plain awesome.